Hey everyone, Jeff here from RV Parenting. And as you know, if you've followed our channel at all, we have a toddler. She's two, almost three years old, and she definitely rides in a car seat. So the question of the day is both, do you need a car seat in an RV? And if so, how do you hook it up? We're gonna answer all of that and answer all of your questions here today in this video. So first, right out of the gate, just know that Every state has different laws pertaining to car seats and different laws pertaining to car seats in a vehicle, a regular vehicle, or an RV. So there's not a cut and dried answer that applies to everybody across the United States. So definitely check your state's laws and see what they say. Now, having said that, you do want to be safe. The safety of your child is number one, no matter what the law says. So you do definitely want to bring a car seat in the RV and you want to use it. That way your child can be safe. Now, the reality of it is though, this RV, there's no place for a rear facing car seat, for instance. It's just not gonna happen. So I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel to make something happen that can't happen. There's not a good place in here for a rear facing car seat. So even if Layla was young enough to require one, we wouldn't do it that way just because there's no way to do it. Um, and I'm not gonna trade this RV in to buy a different one just to make that happen. So I'm gonna tell you the nuts and bolts of it. I'm gonna review some of the legalities, but I'm also gonna be realistic with you. The average RV traveling family does occasionally get up and use the restroom while the vehicle is in motion. Whether or not that's legal or not, that's the reality of what most families do while they're traveling on the road in an RV. And you may find that you get up to take your toddler to the bathroom while the vehicle is in motion. That's up to you if you want to do that. And you're gonna need to check the, the laws of the state, not only where you live, but the state you might be in when you're doing that to verify whether or not that's legal. And then that decision is yours to make. But I can tell you that a lot of families just do what they need to do while they're traveling to get everything done that needs to get taken care of. But you do want to bring a car seat in the RV and you do want to use it as much as possible. You want to install it as safely as possible and where if you were in an accident, it provides the least amount of damage to your child. So that's what we're getting into today. Next, I'm going to show you how we install the car seat for Layla in our RV. Our RV is a class A motorhome, meaning it's all in one, driving, living, all in one vehicle. The class A typically has a front, a flat front, as opposed to the class C's, which look more like a van or a truck front with a bed that sticks out over the top of it. Um, and then obviously you, you wouldn't be riding in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, but we're in a class A and we have two couches, which I'll show you here in a second. Both of those fold uh, up to be a couch or down to be a bed. Currently they're down, but I'm gonna fold one of them up for you and then show you where we install the car seat when we're getting ready to take the vehicle out. So let's do that now. Okay, so hopefully you can see this here. This is the couch as it's folded out to where it's a bed. We use it as a bed at night for one of my daughters, and then we fold it up when we're getting ready to travel. So we have to fold it up to use the car seat option. So it's kind of like a futon, and just kind of lifts up and then slides into place. The seat belts, and there's a seat belt on both sides, but the seat belt is here. There's another one over there. And it's right here. So there's not any other form of restraint for a car seat. There's just the seat belt. So just know that those other little hooks, that metal hooks that would be in here, like you'd find in a vehicle, there's nothing like that and there's nothing back behind here. There's just the seat belt. So that's what we're gonna do. Again, whether or not that's legal in your state is gonna be up to you to research and then decide if you want to forego the legalities and just do what makes sense. We're doing what makes sense for us. And that's hooking this, the, this car seat up through the seat belt. But again, that might not be legal in your state to do it just with this. But we feel like it's safe and we feel like 
it's not worth the hassle of installing some aftermarket system to connect it to. So again, just like you would in a car, you're gonna run the seat belt through the back and you're gonna pull it tight. I find that I have to pull down the strap into the crevice between the back and the base. I have to push my hand through that crack to really pull it tight to get it to where it's nice and tight. I'm going to do that for you now so you can see just exactly how tight it gets with no other form of restraint other than the seat belt. All right, so I've got that about as tight as I can get it. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's firmly in place, not going anywhere. I feel like this is perfectly safe for our toddler. Like I said, she's about three, almost three years old. I feel like it's perfectly safe. I feel like it's the best option for this RV without adding some sort of aftermarket retrofit to make it work. But you need to research the laws in your state and decide what you want to do. And if the, the decision you make happens to be not fully compliant with the laws in your state, obviously that's a decision you're going to have to make. I'm not making that recommendation for you. I'm just telling you what works for us and what we do. Now, a lot of people do wonder about the seats here in the dinette. After all, it's a little further from the front. You've got some, uh, some, an object here. You've got a back here. Unfortunately, there is nothing built into this seat or this one where you could hold a car seat in place. In other words, there's no seat belts. There's no harnesses or latches or anything to hook onto. So, if that's how your RV is, I would definitely not just sit a car seat here. Uh, I would definitely restrain it with the seat belts on the, the, uh, the couches. That's for the best way to do it for the RV that we have. Obviously your RV could be different, but ours does not have a way to restrain the seat in the dinette area like this. So anyway, I hope this video helps you. That is how we hook up a car seat in our RV. Every car seat, every RV, going to be a little bit different, just like all of the different laws in each state that govern how and where and when you need a car seat in your RV. You're going to want to check the laws in your state, but of course you may be traveling across multiple states. So ultimately, you're going to need to decide what works best for you, but make the safety of your child number one. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.